All right, everybody, so this is not uh, my typical video, but Timo reached out to me and wanted to do a collab, and I said, why not? I have bought stuff from Timo before and have been pretty pleased with some of the items that I have gotten. Timo has free shipping and free returns up to 90 days, also a $5 credit for any late deliveries. Uh, you can download the Timu app through the link in the description box of this video. Also in the description box, I will give you the promo code to get $100 of coupon bundles for free. All the items I show you today is going to be also in the description box for an easy find. All you have to do is look for the description and the link and it'll be bring it right to whatever country you are in for price wise. When I go over the prices today, I am just going to do it in US dollars as opposed to Canadians uh, dollars. In Canadian dollars, it'll be a little bit higher, but once you click on that link, it will bring you to the Canadian Timu app. Now, this was the bag I got. Uh, a lot of um, people that I've seen that have got Timu always has a nice a bright orange bag from Timu. And in, I guess in Canada, we only get the white ones. So I'm going to take everything out just and a lot of the stuff out of the packaging so it's not you're not hearing crinkling every two minutes i am going to show you some great finds that i did find with timu and i wanted to share it with all you guys just because i think a lot of them could incorporate with a lot of the crafts that we do including jango blocks all right for the first item of the timu haul will be the scrabble letters um I find they're very hard to find in the stores and I jumped on board to grab a hundred pack for $2.99 for US. I made a picture frame for my father and he really loved it with all the name of his kids for Father's Day. Great find from Timu and very good quality. The next thing I wanted to do since graduation is coming up is a 30 piece tassel and they all come with mixed colors so it's great depending on the school university that you could do some of these i left in the bag size because i didn't want to get them all over so you will hear a little bit of crackling during this video but i just think they're just really great ideas that can be made with these tassels like a cap i do have an idea for a jenga block one that i will be doing so this will come in super handy this spring to make something with the tassels now this is a super cute one it was better than i expected when i seen it and these are just it's a 14 piece uh dog paw sayings and stencils and it actually comes with a little ring that you can keep them all organized and i can't open it oh there we go and they all have little holes in the corner you can put on there. I'm trying to... I'm just going to pull this. I'm going to show you. Just, I'm going to put something in the back just so you can see the, the little different designs on there with the little dog paws, the bones, a little heart. And I do have an idea to make with Jenga blocks. This will be coming out this spring. And I think these will work really great for that. So a little dog prints. I like this one, Forever Friends. Little puppies in there. There's another one, little dog paws. An infinity sign. That's a great one too. I'm just gonna show you them all. And it all comes in this one bundle, like I said, 14 pieces. And it was only $4.99. Now there's a mix, I don't know, some with nails, some without, a little bit different shape that you can find. There's the, I should have put a black piece of paper underneath. Love one, little prints to bigger prints. Just the two paws and hearts. And the welcome, hope you like dogs. That was a cute one too. And all I need is a love and a dog. So this one, another project I plan on doing with Jenga blocks, of course. And the next one we are going to move on to is a storage bag that I thought would be a great idea. Now, I don't know all about you guys, but how you guys store your flowers and floral picks. But when I saw this, I said, this would be a perfect idea. 
Now, it is quite big, so it's hard to fit on the camera. So you have five pockets, seven all the way down. So there's a 35 grid storage bag. And you actually get the hangers for over the door. So you get four of them. And you just put them right in there like that. And this part hangs right over the door. I'm kind of excited to do this one already. I was already testing it out. Oops, I did it backwards. And you got the four piece, like I said, you can just hang it on the back of the door. Now, I just grabbed a couple floral picks I have. I usually just stick them in one big bag, but then I'm always, I find they wreck some of the flowers when you have them just in the bag. Oh. And the great thing about this bag is you can just put them in the pockets. You could color code it and you got 35 pockets to work at, work with. So for this one was $13.99, but I think it's well worth it. And it keeps all your flowers organized by color and you're not really digging through and they're not bending the petals. I think it's a great buy. All right, next thing we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna show you is an apron. I always get glue on myself and paint sometimes, ruins my clothes. And then I forget to change into my crafty clothes, I guess you could say. Just has a over the head. I wish it was like along the arms as well. But I think it would be perfect. It is waterproof. And it has two little pockets. You can keep some Jenga blocks in there. And it's pretty long too. And I think it just keeps saves your clothes from getting uh, paint on it, which I tend to do more often than not. And the... The price for that was $4.99. And the next thing were these vintage 10-piece um, hollow embossed photo frames. I think they'd be great if you're making a Jenga block house, um, even if you're doing uh, pictures, uh, putting people's pictures and then just having the outline around them with the different photo frames. I think they're pretty, uh, pretty neat and you probably could change the colors on them you could paint them and for 10 piece and for really a dollar 59 is pretty good deal i think for these ones the next one is back to graduation i have my son graduating this year so it's a big year for him now it's 10 sheets of parchment paper slash, uh, I guess you could wrap bouquets in it. Uh, it's waterproof and it's like really, really nice paper. And I like the gold with the black on it. I already just took one piece out already. So for 10 sheets of this is $3.79. And I plan on using this wedding bouquet foam holder i did order it from timu for 144 and thinking about putting some wood dowels in it with some Fourier rocher um candies on top of the dowels and wrapping them up in this with the especially with the gold paper on the candy would just match so well with this color instead of giving my son flowers i said uh, i think he much appreciate chocolate more than flowers the next one I wanted to order because sometimes the little bit sizing you got to watch when you are ordering for quantity as well. Uh, I know a lot of people were looking for the heart shape reef that were making um, dog paws in the crafting groups. And they're a little bit smaller than other ones I've seen. But if anybody's looking for them, and I'm just going to give you the center point just from here down. So... It is, I'm gonna turn it over, measure it this way. So it's just eight and three quarters lengthwise here. But if you're looking for the heart shaped reef, they got them for 449 at Timu. Now, if you followed me for a while, at the beginning I was doing a lot of uh, Jenga block animals and a lot of people didn't know what to do with eyes, some of them drawing them on. Um, these ones are really cool and I just kind of giggled to myself thinking, wow, what I could have did with some of my animals. Uh, when I see these ones, they remind me of a lizard or even a frog. But they come 30 pack for 249. 
I think uh, they're pretty cute. And they do come in different sizes. So I think these ones are the 18, uh, sorry, 16 mm. So you can get bigger sizes in them. And they come with a pair. So as you can see, there's probably another one that goes in there. But for 30 piece for $249, I think they turn out really well. So it looks like I'm going to have to make some more Jenga block animals just so I can use up some of these eyes. And we're going to move on to the next one. So the Christmas artificial pine branches, $449 for $12. Faux cedar picks, they call them. So they come with 12 pieces. Uh, you could probably paint them white too. I think I'd do spray paint white if you wanted to change up the color with them. Some of them are a little bit bent, but I think these ones were, four, like I said, $4.99. Um, I think I would do more color. I'm not, the green is a little bit army green. I'd like more of a darker green, but still all in all, good value for $4.99. Next one is a 10 piece wood tree cutouts and for 10 of them you get $3.99. Uh, all these little wrappings, sorry, for all the crinkling guys. Now what these ones are really like, and I'm gonna move it over here because I am gonna post a picture, is I did this one with the Scrabble pieces for my dad's uh, Father's Day. And when I posted it on my Facebook page, everybody wanted to know where to got the tree. Now the tree's a little bit different from where I got it, but value for 10 pieces for $3.99 was awesome. And I think it just turned out uh, lovely with the craft that I did for these. So this is a really good buy. And the next thing I never thought I needed until I actually used it and tried it out was my heat gun. And this one is 716 fabulous even has the holder that you don't want to touch on the surface it is uh, 110 volt on and off switch I do have another one but this works fabulous cuts down on the craft time when you have to let things dry works great just make sure you read the instructions you're not to leave it on too long um heat wise but i think a really good buy for for cutting down especially if you're if you craft a lot and with painting <clears throat> now this was the fun one i did a couple of these for um christmas was the trays that you can get little circle trays with the gingerbread man now for 12 pieces you put them in those little trays that looks like a muffin pan that are actually little paint trays now you get 12 of them and all you have to do is cut off the rubber top on here and you put them in the little trays I remember seeing somebody with um, putting the little rolling pins and this is the cute little dollhouse ones from Timu and I just thought they were adorable so you get the 12 pieces of gingerbread man for $2.39 I think it's a steal and look at the rolling pins they're absolutely adorable I can get them out now the rolling pins were $2.49 for six pieces so you don't have to put them all in the, those trays and you guys all know which trays I'm talking about the popular ones at Christmas but look how adorable I think they're just super sweet and those would be like great to put in those trays just to add a little something something to it and I think that I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna show you this one this one I really love I opened it up already and I'm super excited because this is one of the projects that I am going to use it for, for a jingle block build. And wait till you guys see it. So it is, let me take it out. I think this is my favorite piece out of everything I bought. Oh, here we go. It's called full styrofoam. It's a fishing gnome statue. I'm not going to say what I'm making to go with it, but 
I think you guys would know already. I think it's adorable. Now, the only thing is a little bit of paint has chipped off on some parts of his hat. And I think it would just add a little bit of coat to it. But I think he is just adorable and would look great in a Django Block build. I have actually two ideas for him. So I'm going to order another one from Timu. And he has a little lure on the top of his hat. It's super, super cute. And that one is $6.49. I think great deal for this one as well. Next thing we got happening. I know at Christmas time when people are, I see a lot of people looking for green material. I know once upon a time I had a hard time finding some. This is a two-piece green fun fur, $3.99. Thanks to Timu. And you get two pretty good sized pieces. Um... Uh, I know with the Jenga block um, Grinch that I did, and a lot of people had a problem finding the fur. Great, a great, uh, great deal for three ninety nine for two pieces of fur, especially green. Green's such a hard color. I know I went to my fabric store, and I couldn't find any. So someone suggested a while ago when people always ask about the mat that I use that I work on for my crafts. Someone suggested a silicone one. So I did, when I was looking for products to order for this video, I did see the large silicone mat. So it's 23 by 15 inches and the price is $6.49. I wanted to give it a try. So I did order one. I am gonna just put it down on my desk and I'm gonna start working on it. And I just wanna see how well it works. I think that's just dirt from my thing. It feels pretty good so far. I don't know how things um, are going to work on it and I'm just going to leave it down. Uh, the next thing we are going to cover is same. We're going to go back to the same like those other ones that I showed you with the windows. Now this one's a 20 piece one retro doors and windows and I think this would be good for builds as well. Some of the Jenga block builds with putting in. You have to just punch out the holes, I guess, right in there. And just adds a nice touch, I think, on to any kind of crafts that you want to do. Let's see what kind of other. I'm not going to pull them all off. I'm going to show you some. So there's two of those. There's that style. There's a couple of styles here. There's another one. There's bigger ones. There's those ones. So you got, I guess, 10 different ones because there just looks like they're giving a little bit of two and two of everything. And that one was $2.29. Next thing we are going to do, and it has nothing to do with crafting unless you're a late night crafter and wake up with those bags in the morning. Um, I wanted to try one of these and it's just the beauty eye massager. It is red light and all you do to turn it on is just turn it sideways and it vibrates on your skin. I'm not sure if you heard about the red light therapy and I've tried it in the evening and I just love it. It gives nice little vibration and I just really like how it feels when I do it on my face, especially after my shower in the evenings and it just works wonderful $12.99 another one to show you a lot of people are always looking for little little bees when you're making your beehives I have so much wrapping paper here they're tiny and on the back they have the little sticker where you can take them off and put them on your little beehive I think this one's probably one of the great purchases as well are a 50 pack of wood balls. They're the one inch diameter and great for gnomes for $2.99 for 50 of them. That's a steal and especially grab them up before uh, winter comes when you're making all your Christmas gnomes. I think those would turn out well. Also, I'm, I'm very big into greenery lately and every time I see something pretty I order it and when I was looking for some I have a little piece that fell off somewhere so I got these two big pieces of weeping willow 349 would great to incorporate a craft uh, not a bad price for 349 
And the last one of my haul was the Buffalo plaid ribbon. Now the Buffalo plaid ribbon is five yards long for $3.79. Uh, I have a hard time finding this in my local stores. That's why I wanted to order one. And I think it's a good price and it seems to be pretty good quality. I did take it out once already and we're just going to hear some more crackling. But and it has the wired on the side as well. I am going to show you this one piece. I did order off a separate order from Timu and I really, really like it. So I'm going to show you it. Um, it's fishing fishing net that you can get, but it's like miniature size. It's not the bigger ones that you see in the stores. It's a lot smaller with little knots in it. And I think this is going to be perfect. I think this might be, uh, a really, and I don't remember the price guys. I'm going to stick it in the description on the bottom and put a price in but I think it will turn out for, especially when you wanna do some of the nautical stuff this spring, just the ones that I've seen at the store, the holes are a lot bigger and I just find it's way too big instead of trying to sew them or make knots in them. And they give quite a long roll on here too. There's quite a bit on there. And I know for some projects that I am gonna do this uh, spring that this is gonna work out pretty well. Let me know what you, which hauls, which of my item from this haul that you guys like. I think the the best one so far is my gnome, my fishing gnome. I think this is probably my favorite piece um, that I got. And I know, I think I'm going to, I am going to order another one just because I do want to do two builds with this little guy. And I think even with this build, I might be able to incorporate it in another one with that. And I think the pack of 50 balls, really great deal on that. And I'm loving my LED wand massager. I think I, I like that. So that's one of mine. But I want to know what you guys think. Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Happy crafting. See you soon. Make sure to check the description for all the links and your coupon code bundles. Thank you for Timu for doing this collab with me. We'll see you soon. Bye.